Hi everyone, welcome back to Leer with Melly. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2020 young adult fiction novel We Are Not From Here, in Spanish known as No Somos De Aquí by Jenny Torres Sanchez. This book is a masterpiece. Jenny packs so much into this story in a way that really touches your heart. She covers things including family, courage, desperation, friendship, corruption, power, death, opportunity, resilience, heartache, and the list just goes on and on. So the story centers around three main characters, Pulga, Chico, and Pequeña. They're all around the age of teenagers and they are growing up in a neighborhood in Guatemala called Puerto Barrios. And so even though these characters are quite young, they're all super, super, super acutely aware of the violence and the danger associated with living in their home country. The violence going on in their neighborhood, especially the violence that's directly affecting them, makes them realize that in order to survive, they need to leave Puerto Barrios and Guatemala. They start to realize that a future in Puerto Barrios is really unimaginable. So the majority of the story follows Pulga, Pequeña, and Chico as they make their journey up north, um, traveling on La Bestia, the train that most migrants take uh, when they're trying to reach the US border. Jenny weaved this narrative together in such an impactful and, and moving way. Um, and as you make your way through the book, you can tell that she really poured her heart and her soul into this story. Though she was born in the US, both of her parents are immigrants um, from Guatemala and El Salvador, and this really, really shines through. Um, I read this book as part of a Latinx book club and had the chance to virtually meet Jenny, and she talked about how she interwove her own research on immigration with a lot of her own experiences and childhood memories of visiting her family in Guatemala. And as I, wait, as I made my way through the book, I could definitely really feel uh, both the depth of the research done and also her, her connection, her clear connection to Guatemala and um, immigration. I really love Jenny's decision to tell this story from the perspective of young teenagers. I think it made the story all that much more powerful and impactful. Um, and so the story, with each chapter, uh, the narrator alternates back and forth from Pequeña and Pulga. And so by allowing them to narr narrate each chapter, I think that the reader gets a really, really good look at the internal, emotional, and physical struggles of a young person making the trek from Central America to the United States. Um, and overall, I think that by narrating this from a kid's point of view, it really helps put a face to immigration and put a face to the unaccompanied minors that are arriving and that we hear about all the time um, on the US news. All right, I gotta give some love to my girl Pequeña, hands down my favorite character. Um, so again, Pequeña is a teenage girl who ended up in an abusive relationship with the Puerto Barrios gang leader and she ends up having a child that she feels no attachment to, she also feels no attachment to Rey and she really really longs to leave both of them. Um, and so let's get into why I love Pequeña. She is such a a strong and beautifully complex character that experiences a ton of growth throughout the story. Pequeña displays so much bravery and so much will throughout the story. She is so determined to do whatever it takes to leave her past behind, um, even if it means rebuilding herself emotionally and rebuilding who she is as a whole. Um, in a lot of ways throughout the story, she ends up being the group's kind of rock. Um, she helps keep Chico and Pulga kind of in line and helps remind them of the bigger picture of why they're why they're making this dangerous journey um, So even though she does play this grounding role 
At the same time, she also is really deeply connected to her spirituality and the supernatural. Um, and so despite the, the journey being difficult, she really allows herself to be drawn into other worlds throughout the journey and she dreams a lot. Um, which in turn also helps her fuel her way forward and helps her eventually make it out of the situation. Overall, this book is beautiful and heart-wrenching. It made me cry, it made me feel, it made me think, and most importantly, it made me want to do something. Um, I can without hesitation give this book five stars. I will say that this book can be really heavy and emotionally intense, so I highly recommend giving yourself the time that you need to make it through the book um, and, and take the space that you need to make it through the book at your own pace. Um, but that aside, please do pick it up. It is a great read. Um, and check out the resources in my bio, which are ones actually suggested by Jenny um, at the end of her book, if you want to learn more about immigrants and how you can support their rights. If you've read this book, let me know in the comments what you thought, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time!